Greetings and salutations, everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Prey. I'm Camp Jack Fisco, and come join us for the last sprint on Stopping the Typhoon. So basically, the audio log that was missed was, uh... Oh, right, I forgot this shit's, like, everywhere now. Alika, this, one. this is Kirk Rimmer. We're in escape pod 8-9. Everyone is secured, but the launch controls aren't responding. Did you follow all the steps on the launch card exactly? Yeah, the klaxon even sounded, but the hatch won't close. We can't separate. Hang on. I'm looking at the schematics. There should be a remote sensor on the explosive bolts. Alika, please, hurry! I see all the leads, but... Wait! This can't be right. Can you launch us from there? Can you at least close the goddamn hatch? Uh, no, I don't think so. Is there a manual crank of some sort? Remmer. Remmer, do you copy? So I think we actually did hear this one. So it turns out the quest I was trying to do where we were trying to find Kurt Remmer was missing. And uh, it, there was no objective because there's a known bug that if you search the Typhon that was Kurt Remmer before the quest is activated, it breaks the game. So what I had to do was actually go back, save at the cargo bay right next to the section, erase my save section that included what, what was in the life support bay. So it basically reset the entire sector. So I went in and was able to kill him, get that audio log, which I believe we already heard, because we did already kill Kurt Rimmer on the previous playthrough, but it glitched the quest. Got the quest completed, left the area, reloaded my actual save game data, so it reverted it back to where it's supposed to be. Uh, it's a known glitch, so basically don't go to life pods until you get the Kirk Rimmer quest. Otherwise it breaks that quest line, and there's no way to fix it until your next playthrough or doing what I did. Beyond that, we actually got the remaining, uh, uh the caches, the, uh, the criminal caches. So literally the only thing we have left is the Gustav Leitner Connectome to give to Igwe, which we found in the last stream. And, uh, December, we can't really do anything with. I actually untracked these because I wanted to be able to find Kurt Rimmer. And obviously I did some digging on forums and found out the quest is broken. So we need to go drop this off in our office, which we are right outside of. Well, let me switch something a little less, um, invasively taking up the screen. And I had to, I had to go toe to toe with, uh, Good evening, Nightmare Talos. two more times. Registration for the Talos Employees Talent help. Show is now open. See Galen in the crew quarters front row. I do need to read an actual new research that we got done during the course of play last time. Uh, let's see. Nightmare, we already read. If all else fails, run. Yeah. Uh, the telepath. We had actually finally finished scanning it. Uh, Typhon Psychocratus. The telepath is considered to be one of the most dangerous known Typhon. Uh, I don't think it's nearly as bad as the technopath, thank you very much. Capable of psychically controlling weaker wheeled organisms and even people. It's almost impossible to contain for further study. Please note the subsequent incident in case 1405-031433. The creation and containment of telepath class specimens is no longer permitted. Oh, that had to have gone badly. All personnel entering psychotronics are required to wear a psychoscope in addition to the regular safety equipment. This was the guy that we saw that was in the, the, the padded room had gotten controlled by one of these, basically. Morgan's note. So he wasn't actually a Typhon. He was just mind controlled by one. Power is not just limited to mind control. Watch out for homing spheres. Can emit a powerful way that nullifies other psychic abilities around it. Getting too close will get you mangled by another powerful blast. Glue doesn't seem to work well, should keep away from it. Stick to long-range weapons or a null wave device. And as we found out, the null wave works perfectly. Um, inadvertently, we also found out that a null wave works on the people that are mind-possessed as well. So that's, that's another handy trick to have. Other than that, everything else we've done is already fully researched. So we are done with so the research, I do slot. believe. Now we just need to uh, eavesdrop on any conversations that may be going on and give him the device. Why Russia? Why Russian volunteers? Well, the Russian penal system is quite unforgiving, and their alliance with the Transdai interest economically coincided. It was Catherine Yu's idea, their mother, and Alex saw the advantages. So, they were murdered because of political convenience and cost savings? The term murder I would dispute, but I do not wish to lie to you. These two factors made them good candidates for the research development here. It is far easier to persuade a man to volunteer for experimental trials when his other prospects include capital punishment or life in prison. I would yeah. dispute the term volunteer. So Morgan. would I. So would I. I, Morgan. So that's why all of it happened the way it did. I don't, I don't understand. 
What don't you understand? Okay, I've already recycled everything, which makes sense, because I already built the ammo and everything. Thank you. It's a strange feeling. I hold Lightner's gift to the world in my hands. He will live on. I wish yes, my wife will. could have heard him play again. That was brave of you. To recover the connect domes for me? I... I appreciate it. I appreciate help, all you and Transtar have done for me. Well, Transtar is part of the reason why we're in this particular mess, but I get your sentiment. All right, so we got new chips that is a reward, but is it actually new? Coral Psy Extractor regenerates Psy on contact with the Coral. Interesting. If we actually had a Psy character, that would be worth it. Now, let's see if we can talk to anybody before we leave. I hope you don't mind if I use your fabricator. I'd like to help. Be my guest. Mm -hmm. Morgan. Mm -hmm. January has been showing me around, telling me, well, everything. Mm -hmm. I figured you came back because your ears were burning. The truth of that statement is questionable on many levels, Chief Ilyushin. It's a figure of speech, January. Perhaps the coral is a kind of reservoir of all the energy the Typhon has been accumulating. That would make hmm. sense, actually. No, I don't think so. I'd say the coral bears a striking resemblance to Morgan. To a central nervous system. Interesting. Oh, well, that's all I that everybody has to say. I don't understand. So that's it we can do here. All we can do now is go back, have the confrontation with our brother, and see where this goes. I get the feeling we're, like, right at the end. I really do. Whee! All right, so the fastest way back would indeed be the elevator. Because, I mean, it takes us right to uh, the Arboretum. From there, we go straight into his office, and that would lead us to pretty much a hub of locations. And I know we got to go to the Arboretum anyway, because that's where his office is, that we're supposed to meet him for this conversation where he wants to show us the evidence, whatever the hell that is. Although I don't know how he could convince us that this is not, I mean, yeah, it's messed up that we're blowing up the station, but I don't see another way to stop this. It's not like we have options. He does not seem to be on our side thus far. That's for damn sure. So far, his motive seems very questionable. So I really wonder what, what the hell he's going to even have to say to us. Whether it's going to be some legitimate information or bullshit excuses, honestly. Really makes me wonder. Alrighty. I am so glad the load times are faster on the SSD, because, oh my god, they were horrible before. As you can see, I've had to kill a few things between the last session and this one. Alright, all the turrets seem to be okay. I actually re-sprinklered the system again. I don't know if the fruit's ready yet. Oh, it is. Perfect. So now we have two fruit, two super fruit, two full heals, and they do stack. Why is the music even creepier now? Is it because the corals extended? Oh, I kind of want to go to the bridge and see if the coral extends throughout the entire station. I wasn't really paying attention when I was outside, but I'll bet it was. Ooh, what? There's something up here? Whoa, hi! Oh, it's a regular mimic. That's why I didn't notice it, because I wasn't even looking at the ground to see if there was an object there. So I kind of recycled some of the crap out here because I had a bunch of extra grenades. Plus, it's nice having a little less of the clutter everywhere. That way there's less for the mimics to mimic, because if they mimic something, the original's not there anymore for you to see, so it makes it very obvious. Hello, are you here for an appointment? No, I could use a top off on my health, actually. Diagnosing superficial injuries. Nothing a portable medical kit can handle. Try to relax. Alright, and the guy up here could I, might fix our armor. I don't know if five points is enough for him to top it off, but we'll try. Hey, hey, up there. Who what? Greater mimics really aren't that much of a threat anymore, honestly. Hey, why, why are you all the way up there, man? Okay, cool, he does. Greater. Ah, there you are. I saw you. I knew I saw it say Greater Mimic somewhere. Alright, so we've. we Literally, we've done everything. We just need to go up and talk to our brother. Although I'm really curious to go to the bridge just as. Holy hi, Georgia Power! I didn't even realize you were here! <laughs> How you doing, man? It's been a while! 
Oh, okay. I, I don't know if anybody else is here. Um, the Stumpy, if you're here, this is, it, I mean, it's kind of limited, but still. I mean, George Power is a cool dude to check out. He uh, plays mostly console games, but he is a very entertaining guy. So, ta-da! Oh, you were playing The Outer Worlds! I still gotta get into that. I've had it through um, Xbox Live for the PC for a while now, and I haven't had a chance to touch it because I wanted to stream it. Is it as good as everybody's saying it is? Where did you go, you little sneaky weasel? The mimic has escaped. How the... Man, you are a fast little shit, aren't you? Wait, wait, nope. Ah, pretending to be guts. Nope, that's not gonna work, putty. There we go. So how you been, man? How you doing? You know what? I kind of want to go to the bridge to see the corals scattered throughout the thing. Plus, it gives me a little bit of time to chat with Georgia Power. Only two streams in. So far, so good. Very Fallout feel. Yeah, from what I heard, they did a better job of it being Fallout than Fallout 76. But, you know, I mean, they just released the NPC. So Fallout 76 has gotten a lot better. But we'll see what they do with the next game. So fingers crossed. But, yeah, I mean, I've, I'm, don't get me wrong. I'm a huge fan of, of the Fallout franchise. Even 76. Game, yes, same thing, Georgia, same thing. It's gaming my way through the quarantine, man. Streaming helps keep you sane. It's always a good thing. Gives you some level of social interaction. Yeah, it's it's gotten a lot better, but I will absolutely agree. Yeah, it was shit when it first came out. Do you but between the... What this yeah, means? Yes. Wait a minute. Thank you for the forge, Georgia oh. Power, but I could have sworn you were already following me. <laughs> it must be that glitch, because a lot of people, uh, t whoops, I need to lean on that button. Twitch has been unfollowing people. It's a glitch with the new interface when they released it. It happened with a lot of people, so I don't think you did unfollow me. I think it just, the glitch happened. Because people that I watch on a regular basis, suddenly it said I wasn't following them, and I'm just like, I didn't hit the unfollow button. What is this witchcraft? So I think you were just another victim in the in the hiccup that was the system. So, <laughs> is there... man, these mimics are everywhere. Hold still, you weasels! I'm trying to talk to my friend here, and you're all jumping around like a bunch of crazy critters. Stop! Hold still! Stop! I said stop. All right, one is still out and about, isn't it? Or was that? Nope, I got all three. Okay, cool. I mean, if you had more, then yeah, I would honestly say that would be the reason. I don't think it was anybody's content, especially with everything that's been going on lately. Holy shit, it's going all the way out of the top. Where is it going to? Man, the coral really is everywhere. Uh, R&D. Well, R&D. Uh, I don't see it coming out of the left or the right sides. But it is, we know it's running through the middle of it. We saw it coming out of the top. I'll bet you anything it's coming out of the bottom of the station, too. Uh, is that, did it, um, engineering? Oh, it did. We just can't. No, it's just coming out of the top. Why is it only coming out of the top? Uh, yeah, actually, I, I played half of this a year ago. Or two years ago, uh, before the break, because of the whole thing that you know I got involved trying to stop. Uh... But I forgot the storyline to this and the evil within, and I was only halfway through both, so I went back and started both over again. That is crazy. What the hell? It, it almost looks like it's trying to form something. But yeah, technically I'm back to a point where this is blind play. I don't know what the hell I'm doing again. Because that's always the best way to play. <laughs> Not knowing what the hell you're doing. Is there a asshole in here I'd kill before I leave? No. Okay. Just making sure. So yeah, they're, it looks like they're building something with the coral. It looks like it's more than just a brain stem, the way Igwe was talking about. Yeah, actually, uh, I need to put you in touch with my friend Rex McKinnis. He is also a console player. I, I'm i not sure which system he's on, though. PS4 or Xbox, I honestly don't remember. But, um, yeah, I mean... He's a fellow console player, so as long as it's the right system, you guys would actually be able to play together. He does a lot of uh, co-op stuff. 
right now he's actually going through. He just did the old Final Fantasy VII, and he's comparing it to the new one, which he's now doing. But he has a lot of GTA. He even got into Minecraft, I think, recently? I could be wrong. Maybe he's a long-term player. But it looked like he was recently into it by his title. But he's a pretty cool dude. And ironically, the more I've, ne I've networked a lot while I was away, and I got to know a surprising amount of console players as much as PC players, which... I I mean, I'm not surprised there's that many console players out there. I'm just surprised there's that many that I would have tripped over on Twitch because I'm mostly in, you know, PC circles. But, I mean, technically I met you through Annie and he does both, so it makes sense. Although I get it because trying to have a PC that can stream and play a lot of shit, that's not cheap. Oh, wow, it's going right through the glass. That is freaky. All right, what is this video you want me to see? I'm assuming it's a... F well, it's not the file, so it must be... Utility? Playback on the big screen. Big screen? What big screen? Oh, hello. It was behind us. Good evening, Talos. A word from our security chief, Ms. Alizar. My name is Morgan Yu. Year is 2035. I'm aboard the Telos One Research Facility. What else? Why are we making this video? Right. Because my big brother is paranoid. Psychometric data is showing statistically significant variance in personality patterns between trial runs of the new neuromods. Whatever. <laughs> I feel more like myself than ever. I mean, look at this. We did it, Alex. It's real. Enjoy it while you can, because in a few minutes, it'll all be gone when we strip out the neuromods and we set. I know. I'm including my memory of it. No way around it. Let's talk about the backup. So, the Typhon organisms have been producing an elaborate structure. Material is unknown, purpose unknown. My gut tells me it's kind of a neural framework, but externalized. Still waiting on analysis to confirm. In the meantime, I've given Alex the design for a device I think could shut it down, if it ever broke containment. Alex just has to grow a pair and commit. He doesn't have to take all the credit. <laughs> what if it doesn't work? It'll work. Trust me. What else are we going to do? Blow everything up? <laughs> that won't save us. And if it does work, is it worth it? The people that come after us will be smarter, stronger, Immortal. They can judge us if they want. But they'll know they exist because of the things we did. I'm ready. Do it. You should totally add a fundraiser to your uh, streaming. To You know, one of the, the ones you put in. Well, there you have it. Everything I've done is what you've asked me to do. I didn't think you'd believe me unless you heard it from your own mouth. The tests, they changed you. Not a lot at first, but eventually, the constant stripping of your memory. I didn't know who you were anymore. You could have All started with that, Alex. Is to have my sister back so we can finish what we started. The device you mentioned, it's an advanced version of the Null Wave. It's the Actually only makes a lot of way sense. to stop the Typhon without destroying everything we've been working toward. We're just missing some scan data from the Carl to complete the design. Help me finish this, Morgan. And then, you can have my arming key. I don't believe you want to use it anymore, but you can have it. I left the chip set for you on my desk. You'll need to upgrade your psychoscope to scan the Carl. I'll send you the scan locations. Uh, I don't see a chipset on your desk. Oh, there we go. It's coming out. You know, Alex, if you had started by telling me this shit, I wouldn't have been suspecting you as being the villain this whole damn time. Jesus, dude. But yeah, Georgia, you should totally do like a uh, donation bar thing on your channel and just like save up for it because it's specifically an upgrade that affects the channel. So, I mean, why the hell not? I'd totally be down to helping you try to raise for that. Coral detector. And obviously, I'm going to have to install it. Modify the second scope to be able to scan the coral. Uh, what can we get rid of? Increase the cooldown of side powers. So I'll probably get rid of that one, because that's only for the bullet time. Alright, so we'll install that. 
if he had told us that from the beginning, he wouldn't have looked at nearly as shifty. How stupid is this, brother? Oh my god! This is all the sparking shit. And it was saying something like right beneath me was broken that needed to be fixed. What? Oh, hello. I had never been down here before. I didn't even know there was a down here before. Alright, let's fix this. Um, give me the... I need to see the part. That, thank you. There's a log and, uh... Jada Mark's cabin. Was that the one I could never get in? Morgan, that video was... I'm still... checking it against my directives. But if scanning the coral will grant you access to Alex's arming key, then perhaps it's the best course. Perhaps knowing the coral's purpose will reinforce your decision to destroy Talos 1. Just be careful. We're running out of time. Okay, January, to be fair, you were made on the premise that we were running on the lack of knowledge of not knowing that we had an ability to shut the coral down. So I get why you still want to fulfill your purpose. It's literally how you were programmed. But the Alex that you're based off of didn't know that we had a way to stop it without killing everybody. Honestly, the advanced null wave emitter sounds like a way better way to stop them. Because we already know the null wave works against them. We finally have a non-violent solution. So I'm guessing the evil ending is blowing up the station. Because it's looking like the good ending is probably disabling them. Crippling them from being able to function. Alright, I needed to scan the coral. Uh, I had it for a second. Uh, where does one have to be to scan the coral? Coming through. Do I have to go outside to scan it? I may have to go outside to scan it, or the guts or something. Hmm. Alright, I also picked up a transcribe, and I picked up a... Might as well heal. Frickin', uh, words, English. Um... Keycard. Keycard. Yeah, it's 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 always based on the gender you play. I always took the female character because I like the voice actress that played the voice for the character. I've never actually played the guy. I need to go back and do that. I wonder if I can actually pick the guy when I do the second playthrough because you can actually do a new game plus. And I wonder if it'll let me change genders. Channel currency. Yeah, that's actually a really good idea. Um, I'd love to help chip out for that because you know I'm I'm totally down for supporting good streamers that are, you know, trying to make sure they can keep streaming, and being able to have access to a computer and a lot more games would definitely help you in the long run. <laughs> I know the feeling, dude. I need to build an overlay, and I need to be able to... I already have the green screen and the webcam. I just need to set it up so I can add that, but I probably won't be until... I'm thinking my birthday will be the uh, charity stream, and I'll be doing webcam for the charity stream, so... Because I, I don't remember if you remember the details of what happened, but basically, because of the events that transpired, I'll be doing a charity event for uh, abused women and children that have been sexually assaulted or molested or anything like that. To try to, you know, raise awareness of the fact that shit like this happens, and I kind of had to deal with one of them. Oh, right, I was going to go over here and recycle shit. Duh. I also need to listen to the... Oh, did we already listen to the transcribe? Wait a minute. Did we listen to the transcript? Um, play the... Captain? Did I... I thought... Your shift isn't for another two hours, but I need you to come in now. Is everything okay? No, it's not. Stop by my cabin first. Bring the gun from my safe. Transmitting the key code. Right away, Captain. Interesting. So that would have been another way to get the, uh gun code thing. I'm gonna go ahead and make one more of these, just because we can have another super fruit. I, I didn't realize we could stack these, which makes it even... I didn't mean to activate bullet time, damn it! Always, man. Glad to help out a, a fellow streamer. What I actually want to do is try to coordinate doing a group stream where multiple streamers can actually help commit to the charity. So, um... When I get it all coordinated, I'll hit you up on Discord and let me know if you want to be part of it. So I'd love to be able to try to get it like to be 30, 50 stream or something like that and try to shoot for a really high mark for the charity. Uh, 
uh, oh, duh, we just did that for the fruit. Wow, I am completely scatterbrained today. That's that, that's great mindset to have on the final episode. <laughs> Brain damage. Great way to go. All right, so we need to put the growth stuff in there and hit the button. So the next time we come through this sector, we'll have a super fruit. I need to remember what I'm... Oh, my little turret got all screwed up. Yeah, buddy, buddy, you gotta... Put, just There you go. All fixed. Uh, I'll pro if I can coordinate it within time, I want to do it on my birthday. So it'll be May 23rd is when it starts. But I'll probably do it for like a whole month or maybe a couple of weeks. Just so we can try to hit a marker. But um, depending on how it goes, I want to see if we can like do a leapfrog of a one long charity that goes from streamer to streamer to streamer if it is at all possible so if i can arrange that that'd, that'd be cool but it largely depends on who gets involved what their schedules are whether or not and if two people are streaming at the same time for the charity that, that's totally cool i don't have a problem with that because it means we'll be able to reach multiple audiences so i i assume i'm going out into space to scan the coral yes yes it's having to go to the elevator so it must be out in space hey can you top me off please Hey, you open Twitter instead. Uh, yeah, absolutely, man. Uh, I know I'm following you on Twitter, so that shouldn't be a problem. Yeah, I'll message you on Twitter. No problemo. Yeah, Annie's going to be on board as well. So, uh, I'm right now, as it stands, I've got about uh, 10 people willing to be interested. Uh, potentially 20, depending on what their stream schedules are at the time or whether or not they're actively streaming at the time. So, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. it. It'll be nice to, you know finally get into the, the charity of, you know, I mean, half of this was about, you know, brightening people's day, but the other half was about trying to make a difference in the world, so it'll be cool to finally be getting into that. One thing I'd like to do afterwards is at least maintain doing three to four charities per year, so every three to four months. Microgravity detected. Yep, we're scanning this shit in space. I've been thinking <clears throat> about the video Alex showed you. Your brother believes that version of you is the true Morgan, but why? just because it came first? If someone had made you, then I suppose your truest self would be the one that fulfills whatever purpose your maker intended. I know who made me, and why. Did someone make you, Morgan? Were you made for something? If not, you'll have to invent your own purpose, or have none at all. Strangely, of all the things I know about you, I don't know what you believe. You have to decide, Morgan. Who are you? Interesting. They keep bringing it back to choice, which is very cool, because, I mean, that's like the crux of all of this. Which version of Morgan are you choosing to be on a given playthrough? I really like that. I like the fact that they've added that. It's, it ties very much into the whole morality thing they did with... Well, hello, there's a lot of you corrupt bastards out here, aren't there? It ties into the morality that they added with uh, Bioshock Trilogy. And it's one I know they wanted to uh, integrate into System Shock, but it never got far enough. So I'm actually curious to see where that's going to go uh, with the remake of one, which since it's staying true to the game, probably not, but possibly in three. Exactly, exactly. It makes a huge difference being able to give back. I don't want to alarm you, but has been a launch from the Argus platform. Board of Directors is caught wind of the situation here. That's not good. Quickly, decisively. They'll try uh, to take this out of our hands, Morgan. It, like, muted that whole dialogue. Can I, like, replay that? Because that, like, totally cut out. Oh, no, no, not map. Go back to data. Dang it. No, that wasn't it. Uh, can I not replay a log that I've heard? Oh, that sucks. Well, I hope you guys were able to read the text, because I completely missed it because I was focused on the bad guys. No, no, no. Reload, reload, reload. Alright, I need to stop and soak up some of this, so... I uh, should be using bullet time. I don't know why I'm not. I'm being stupid. Alright, that should be enough to top that off. Alright. 
My personal thanks to each and every one of you for tuning in. You all are awesome viewers. Really appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. It means a lot to me, and I do hope you enjoy it. You all take care of yourselves. If you want to see more of me, keep up the video on the list, or stay tuned for more. Feel free to leave a comment below, and please remember to take that like button if you enjoyed the video. In the meantime, fare thee well, everyone.